Hey John, um, this is just a video I'm going to make to kind of show you um, some of what I meant in uh, the little message I wrote you. Um, first of all, here's a switch. It just has an on and an off, or an on and a reverse, a reversal switch. It just goes forward and backward, just no off. Um, with the motors like this, I just have the wheels mounted directly to the motors. And I put a little rubber band in them to keep them, to get a little traction. But for wiring, it makes it a little hard to see. But um, I have this wire comes up to the front terminal over here. And then this back wire down here comes up to the front terminal over there. And then, um, I have these two wires that come out here that are going to go to my front, uh, my front wheels that will uh, contact the wires. They come down through here and come right into the middle. So your two wires that um, are going to be touching the, uh, the wires that um, he's giving you to power it will come right to the, uh, the middle of the switch. I put tape over them, but there's six terminals. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we just jump the front there, that one to there, and then your two middle ones are, you know, for the the wire, the, the for the current wire. Basically, what you want to do, I don't know if you'd exactly want to go my route. It's a little bit hard to do, drilling a hole through the switch, and then, um, putting a curved rod on the end so when it hits the wall it'll come up like that and flip the switch that's a little bit of a pain in the butt but what you can do is uh, make like something that will just hold the rod in place here and keep it straight so when it hits the wall it'll just push it backwards and it'll snap the uh, switch back and then it'll reverse that's actually a little bit easier I kind of overcomplicated that so there's that, and um, these are some pretty good wheels to use. You'll find these in the section that has them um, to do with uh, um, sliding doors, like sliding screen doors. They're really light, they're plastic, and um, the grooves are like the perfect size uh, for the wires you're going to be using. So if you want to use this for like, um, I don't know, your front wheels, those are really good. What I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm going to have a uh, some kind of a wire that just comes down over here and it'll be just like sitting on the wire, on the um, the guide wires kind of to conduct the current. I'm not going to have the wires come directly, the current come directly um, from the wheels like most people are doing. And you don't have to. So. Oh, also, the way I have the two motors wired, um, these are three volt motors, so I wired them in series, which what that means is um, I have the motors basically connected to each other. There's one wire that goes into, you have a positive and negative on each motor, and I have a positive of one of the motors and a positive of the other connected. So this motor's um, positive is connected to this motor's negative. And so that leaves this motor's positive open and this motor's negative open. And so then you um, take the negative wire, or it really doesn't matter which one, you just take one of the wires and open it, uh, and hook it up to the free spot on this one and the other one to the free spot on this one. So again, you put the negative wire from this one to the positive on this one, or um, the negative on this one to the positive on this one. Again, it doesn't really matter. Then um, you just jump the opposite, uh, the opposite polarity um, terminal to the other one, and then um, the free spots you just connect to the um, either the front or the back of your switch. Again, it doesn't really matter, and um, that'll increase the voltage to six volts since you're wiring them in series. Um, if you want to use two six volt motors, what you do is you wire them in parallel. Is um, how you do that is you uh, wire this positive and this positive together out here and um, this negative to this negative out here and come into one wire and then you would come uh, wire to your switch. 
instead of uh, running them kind of through each other. And uh, that would still have you come out with a 6-volt uh, load on the wires, which is what he's going to give you. So, oh yeah, um, so these are just some of the, the bolts. I use. I use a lot of glue and really tiny bolts. See what else? What else? Yeah, make sure you have a lot of small drill bits because you'll be needing those. And um, make sure this is an old piece I used. I ended up not using it because it's too heavy. But when you're making a uh, when you're using an axle, if you're going to use an axle, um, make sure that it's not metal because I had to do a lot of precautionary stuff like wrapping stuff in tape to make sure that. Um, it wouldn't short out, and that means like um, the positive and negative are touching each other and um, through the metal axle, which will fry your motors and stuff. So uh, to avoid that, try and use a plastic one, and if you can't use a, a plastic axle, um, you're going to have to insulate everything. Um, you can't have this, the negative, touching the positive side through the axle. Um, Let's see if I can get this out. 